Meraki TV is proudly brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond. Education for investing wisely. Savo, welcome to tonight's edition of Meraki TV, brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely. Tonight we check out the uni scene with Yana as she boards the Cougar Cruise, Helen makes good old fashioned and scrumptious favourite, Tiropites, Stavrula brings the fashion glam in the glitz and goss, and the did you know goes to Lesbos. First up though, Demetra sits down with busy Greek Aussie actress Andrea Dimitriades, whose lead in the Alex and Eve movie has been just the cherry atop her many acting credits. The girls chatted growing up Greek, the importance of multicultural representation on our screens, and much, much more. So uh, welcome Andrea. Thank you for having me. So for the crazy people at home that haven't seen a bunch of your work, tell mm. us some of the stuff you've done. I've done a bit of TV, um, Janet King and Crownies. And mm. I've seen you on Crownies for recently, sure. Recently, <laughs> yes, that was, that was a long time ago. And then um, we recently did Seven Types of Ambiguity. Oh, cool. On the ABC, which was really fun. My dad couldn't watch a lot of the scenes because I played a prostitute. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and then at the moment I'm working on Pulse. Yep. which is a new medical drama for the ABC. Oh, cool. Where I'm playing a resident surgeon. I'm excited and to see you as a surgeon. That's I know. Cool. Oh, God. She's not very good. She faints a little bit. But, oh. you know. <laughs> not the greatest quality for yeah, a surgeon. Yeah, no, maybe not. <laughs> but actually, a lot of the things I've seen you on, you actually do play Lebanese women quite a lot. I know. I saw you on The Principal, which the Principal? is an excellent show. It's I... totally underrated. Oh, my God, yeah. It's a really great show. I played half a Habib and... I spoke Arabic in that actually. That was very hard. Yeah. It's interesting, you know, because the some people, you know, they'll say, "Oh, but Arabic's the same as Greek, isn't it?" And you'll go, "Oh, child, no." Not at all. <laughs> yeah, so, what else are you working on? So, I'm working on at the moment with with Pulse. I'm working with Peter Androkides, mm -hmm. who cast me in Alex and Eve, yep. which is a movie in which I played a Lebanese girl, and I'm Greek. And then <laughs> the um, Richie Francesco played. Uh, Greek guy but he's Italian so that was a bit confusing for everyone <laughs> but yeah so we did that together and, and Peter's so good in pushing for um, I always find the word diverse a little bit problematic but you know daughters and sons of immigrants you know we're living in this country now and you know I, I really I identify obviously with my Australian um, identity so um, he's really big on kind of employing you know we've got lots of um, Indian descent actors Dutch descent actors Asian descent so well, that's he's what's outside so why shouldn't you see that on television exactly so it's I mean, great to represent it I want you know younger Greek girls to see me and go oh, I can be on television and I can do this and you know I can represent you grew up in Perth what mm -hmm. kind of a community do they have down there you know, it's a big community and my, so my father was born in Cyprus, mm -hmm. in Nicosia, and my mum was born in Perth, her father was born in Andros, and her mum was born in Port Piri. So my yaya has got the most bogan accent, well it's not bogan, <laughs> it's very refined Australian accent. So it's very funny because people go, hello Mary, and she'll go, g'day. Her, her family's Castleresian, there's a massive Castleresian community in, in Perth and they all kind of got there quicker so they're quite well established there. Mm -hmm. My father came over um, in 69 to Perth um, and so I grew up, dad um, is a Greek teacher, yeah. my Greek is <laughs> so so, so so, <laughs> same, yeah yeah it's, it's a bit of a, my, yeah my father's not very impressed by that and he's a translator too, <laughs> Wow. so um, his Greek is like perfect <laughs> and um, so grew up going to Greek school, getting in trouble, getting sent to my dad who was the principal of the Greek school which wasn't very good, then I did um, a lot of ballet, oh, wow. so when I grew up I did like uh, dancing all the way to high school to, I went to Whopper for a year and did the dance course there um, and then that's kind of when I got into acting. I kind of 
thought, mm, I'm more interested in the storytelling that has words. And, but you know, we would, we, my mum used to talk to us about the myths and stuff. And I think as Greeks, we have such a rich, dramatic, you know, past. That's how I got into acting, through the myths. Yeah, through the myths. And you know, and then looking at Sophocles and Euripides, looking at Antigone, looking at Medea, like, and and, and then, you know, Shakespeare stole everything from that. (laughs) You know, all these, so we're really lucky that we have such a diverse, I know. (laughs) (laughs) I tell my my boyfriend's Italian, I tell him that every day. (laughs) The Romans definitely did that. But um, the Greek community in Perth is strong and, and thriving and there's a lot of support when I go home. I, you know, I go to church every Sunday with my mum. She's very religious, so you know, a lot of people come in and they watch, and they're proud that there's someone representing. I think the Greek community has offered a lot and has still continues to offer a lot to this country. Yeah. yeah. Well, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been me. a complete honour. Oh, it's been an honour to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Did you know that one of the world's most significant petrified forests is in Greece? The petrified forest of Lesvos is one of the finest and rarest monuments of geological heritage in the world. The island's petrified forest is a fossilised ecosystem created more than 20 million years ago when volcanic materials covered and petrified the forest that was covering the area at that time. The protected area of the forest covers an area of 150 square kilometres, surrounded by the villages of Sigri, Scala Eresu, Eresos and Andisa. The Greek state, recognising the great environmental and geological value of the forest, declared the area a protected natural monument. The first references for the Lesbos petrified forest date back to the 19th century. Scientists who study the petrified forest are amazed not just by its uniqueness and its great scientific value, but also by its excellent condition to this day. Today, the natural erosion of volcanic rocks reveals impressive standing and laying tree trunks, with a length of more than 20 metres and with a diameter of up to 3 metres. In recent years, findings of particular scientific importance were brought to light due to the systematic excavations that are being carried out in the area by the Natural History Museum of Lesbos. The Museum of the Lesbos Petrified Forest was established in 1994 in order to study, research and protect this invaluable testimonial of life in the distant past. The Petrified Forest is also of important international significance. In the year 2000, the forest became a founding member of the European Geoparks Network. In 2001, the museum was awarded the Eurosite Management Award for its effective management of the petrified forest. And in 2004, the petrified forest of Lesvos was inducted into the Global Geopark Network of UNESCO. It's time for an income breakthrough to free yourself from working for money, have your money work for you. George Focus of Focus Beyond will show you step by step how to generate income from the share market irrespective of if it goes up or down. Access resources that do the hard work for you and devote no more than 60 minutes a month so you can enjoy financial freedom and time with family. To change your life forever, go to focusbeyond.com now. Whether it's Melbourne, Darwin, Queensland, something exotic or just perfect Greece, call Mega Travel 9824-2427. Here at Eremia, we provide the highest standard in home care available. With a diverse, multicultural and bilingual team that excel in patient care, we communicate effectively with our clients and families to give added confidence. Offering care for both the elderly and persons with special needs at home is part of our enablement approach. Our professional support workers assist clients in an active way to regain independence, promote individual capacity building and include restorative care to help our clients achieve their own goals from the service provided. Visit eremia.com.au aussieskips.com.au Fast, reliable, professional and friendly service. Bin sizes from 2 cubes to 12 delivered to your door the very next day so you can get your jobs done when you want. 
and with our own waste transfer station in Sydney's metropolitan Strathfield, we'll find a boutique solution for your waste management needs, no matter how small or large. AussieSkips.com.au Owned and loved by an Aussie family. Many like to talk about young adult Hellenes as if they have no interest or passion for the Hellenic heritage. Our Yana always likes to rebuke them at every chance she gets and tonight she brings video evidence from her visit to the must be at university event in Sydney, the Cougar Cruise. Hi Tass, welcome to Meraki TV. So tell us about Cougar, what does Cougar stand for? So Cougar stands for Combined Uni Greek Association. It's a combination of the four unis in New South Wales. So we've got UNSW, Sydney, Macquarie University and UTS. And we join together to do events like the cruise to uh, support and promote the, the Hellenism. Is this your first Cougar cruise? Uh, yeah, you could yeah. say that, you could say that. First Cougar cruise. Wow, it's so exciting. Now, what is your expectation for tonight? What's my expectations? Yeah. A lot of Greek music, a lot of good looking people, a lot of alcohol and good times, good times. So would you like to see more events like this? I would love to see a lot more events like this. Getting the Greek community together, it's an incredible thing, it's great. As we know, there hasn't been much events by Cougar. Yep. And today's society, our youth, we've all been yep. looking for events to come to. Yep. Is there going to be more? Are we going to see maybe yeah. another cruise? Are we going to no, go... No, another cruise. So what we're going to do is we're going to change things up a little bit. The four different societies got their own individual events which fall under the Cougar umbrella. But Cougar coming together as a united front is something we want to promote. We want to do different events of a different nature. It's not just party events. We want to do cultural ones. We want to promote the Greek language. We want to inspire others and make them proud to be Greek. And uh, certainly many events will be coming, especially at the end of this year. We think it's something big. What are you going to store for the end of the year? So for the first time ever, our Cougar, we're looking at doing a ball, which hasn't been done. So uh, every UTS goes down to Melbourne and we experience the Nougat Ball, which is great. You know, you walk into this theatre and there's hundreds of tables of, of Greeks. They're all united, all strong, all celebrating our history, which you know, if there's any history, it's ours that should be celebrated. And that's something we want to do in New South Wales, in Sydney. And it's definitely going to be a, uh, a multi-state event. And, uh, you know, we want to get everybody involved in all four societies plus other ones around New South Wales we're looking to include and really take things to the next level. Can you dance a good Sebeki course, some Greek dancing? Look, if we've got enough booze down the pipes... You know, there's some pipes. competition out here. Look, if we get enough booze down the pipes, maybe. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I don't even need drinks. By the limb, my system, that's all I need. Since Moss is here today, are we going to show some great Greek dancing skills downstairs? So, expectations for tonight. Is it your first cruise? No, this is my fourth. Cruise. <laughs> are we looking for any Greek boys? I am. <laughs> Where are they? We've got to find some. So Tass, why is Cougar still relevant today? Uh, the relevance of Cougar is simple. So even people being a part of Cougar or the individual society, we hope that that facilitates them feeling Greek, being proud to be Greek and, and providing a platform where they can do that yeah. and as well meeting other Greeks. So it's not just a social thing, it's, it's a networking thing, it's a thing where you share common values. Uh, you know, a, a common and culture, ground, yeah. you come from the same history, you know, you share we that. We all just understand right. each other, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely about getting people of a similar nature, a similar culture, similar morals to meet each other, to, to hopefully inspire each other as well, yeah. in which ways they can come together and then, you know, achieve whatever they want to achieve. Well, Tass, thank you for joining us tonight. Pleasure. And I hope we have a good time tonight. We will, we definitely will. Hi guys, welcome back to Helen's Cuisine. Today we're making the all traditional dirobites. Very simple, very basic, 
less than 15 minutes to make. You can put them in the freezer, bring them out when you want to cook them. Delicious. So to start with, you're going to obviously need some phyllo pastry, whatever phyllo pastry you like, some mint, dried mint. We've got some feta, probably about a half a cup of feta because we're making about 12. We've got about a half a cup of fresh ricotta, full cream ricotta, love the full cream. We've got some butter for our pastry. We've got two eggs and we've got some cheddar cheese and away we go. Simply put, put everything in a bowl and mix it all up guys. So we're gonna add in our feta first. Next up, we're gonna put in our cheddar cheese because we're going to put in the ricotta next and that's quite soft. So cheddar cheese first. Last, the all important ricotta. The ricotta makes it so soft and fluffy. I love ricotta. Without ricotta, I can't have a derobita. It's just my favorite. Add in your mint. And to bind it all together, add in one egg. Check the consistency. If it's nice and moist, that's fine. But if it might need another egg, just pop the other egg in. So we're ready to rock and roll, guys. I've got my phyllo pastry. To prepare your phyllo, I mean, you can work with it as soon as you open it up, but it does dry out quite quickly. So what I like to do is get a wet tea towel, put my phyllo in there and keep it covered and take out the layers that I need. And it always keeps it nice and moist and easy to work with. So I'm going to take out two sheets. Really simple. We're doing the triangle version, which is so, so simple. Today, I'm making them quite large because I like them large, but you can make them really small. You can do roll-ups, you can do whatever you like. To start with, you've got your phyllo spread out nicely. I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to put butter on it. Nice even spread of butter because you want each of the layers to have quite a lot of butter on there so that you can make them stick together and it gives it that really buttery flavour once they're cooked. Pop the other half on top of the other one. So we've got two layers now and we'll probably do a third layer. Again, cut it in half a little bit of butter and pop it on top. It's also a really good idea to make sure that your tray is nice and buttered as well because you don't want it sticking to it. So at this stage, I'm preparing really well and I'm going to butter my tray. Okay, we've got our nice layers of pastry all nicely buttered. Make sure that you put the butter side down. I've got four layers here and I'm going to start rolling. and put our cheese in. A nice, good tablespoon. Remember, I'm making these quite large, so if you're working with the smaller version, probably half a teaspoon because they do pop up. And then you just simply start with the triangle version. Now you can have them plain, but I like to drizzle a little bit of sesame on there and a little bit of black poppy seed because it just makes them look more spectacular. Ready to pop into the oven, 180, that won't take longer than 10 minutes. Like I said, you can pre-make these and have them in the freezer, take them straight out of the freezer and into the oven for cooking at about 20 minutes. 180. Our beautiful didobites, frozen, unfrozen, have them in the freezer when guests come around. Delicious. Galiorexi and see you next time. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Θα το παίρνω κάθε μέρα. Όχι, θα το παίρνεις κάθε μήνα. Α, εντάξει, ευχαριστώ. Λοιπόν, Βαγγέλη. Βαγγέλη είπαμε, ε. Εγώ θα πάω στην τράπεζα, εδώ στη γωνία. Αν έρθει κανένα πελάτη, θα με φωνάξει, έτσι. Αξέχασα να σε ρωτήσω πόσο καιρό έχει στην Αυστραλία. Ε, ε, ούτε μια βδομάδα. Α, ε, οι περισσότεροι πελάτε μα είναι Έλληνε. 
αλλά αν χρειαστεί να διαβάσει κανένα prescription, αγγλικά ξέρει, ξέρει. Ξέρει, ξέρει. Α, θα επιστρέψω, εντάξει. Μάλιστα, μάλιστα. Αγγλικά ξέρω, ξέρω. Έλα, μωρέ, σιγά το δύσκολο. Αφού όλε οι λέξει σχεδόν ελληνικέ είναι. Θα τα καταφέρουμε. Γρήγορα ένα χάπι για τον πονό το παρακαλώ. Μάλιστα. Ε, τώρα, πονάω σου λέω. Πονάς, ε. Ο γιες, πονάω, πονάω πολύ. Γρήγορα, Μα... γρήγορα. Μάλιστα, μάλιστα. Τι, oh. δόντι είναι. Δόντι, δόντι. Oh. Ποιο δόντι, αθέω πέμπτω. Το τρίτο αριστερά. Αριστερά, κάτω. Όπως μπαίνουμε ή όπως βγαίνουμε. Ή όπως μπαίνουμε και όπως βγαίνουμε. <laughs> Τι το πέρα στο στόμα μου, M5, αριστερά ή δεξιά. Πονάω! Πονάω, άνθρωπέ μου! Πονάω! Πονάω, σου λέω! Καλά, άνθρωπάκι μου! Καλά, άνθρωπάκι μου! Πώς κάνεις έτσι! Μία ερώτηση έκανα! Τι να του δώσω τώρα! Και δεν βγάζω και τα γράμματα! Μου έλεγε η μάνα μου! Μα θα αγγλικά θα τα χρειαστείς! Που να φανταστώ εγώ θα έβρεθω στην Αστραλία μετανάστης! Αχ, ρε Τσίπρα! Πού θα πας! Δεν θα σε πετύχω, ρε! Καλά, άνθρωπε, μη βιάζεσαι. Πώ κάνει έτσι. Δεν είναι και η δουλειά μα, παίξε, γέλασε. Τόσα χρόνια φάγαμε στα φρανία. Όπα, όπα. Το βρήκα. Περιοντ Παίν. Το πρώτο δεν μου λέει τίποτα. Παίν όμω. Παίν, πόνο. Παίν. Ε, δεν μπορεί. Το ίδιο είναι. Εντάξει, 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 άνθρωπάκι μου. Μην βιάζει, εντάξει. For woman only. Woman. Woman. Man. Man. Ναι, μωρέ. Όπως μου πήγε ο Σταλές εκτές. Hey, man. Να, να που δουλεύει, ρε. Το βρήκαμε. Τώρα, αυτό το wo, τι θέλει να πει. Δεν πειράζει. Θα βάλω ένα αυτακόλλητο να το κρύψω και τελείωσε ήδη. Ε, δεν μου λες, παιδιά έχεις. Ναι. Ε, πόσα. Αυτά. Αυτά. Τι σημασία έχει. Καλά, καλά. Ο, ο μεγάλος πόσο είναι. 29. Ξενιά. Ωραία. Θα δουλέψει και θα ζήσει. Πέρα να το κάνω εγώ πονάω. Τι, εδώ να το πιείς. Δεν πας σπίτι σου καλύτερα. Φίλε τη γυναίκα σου, τα παιδάκια σου, κάνε τη διαθήκη σου. Φάρμακο είναι αυτό! Ποτέ δεν ξέρεις! Luxury fashion and new film, stunning architecture, five-star ACOM, and a cool board game thrown in, it's all glitz and goss to me. Chanel transported us to ancient Greece for the cruise 2018 show. Set in the Grand Palais in Paris, the inspiration was the Parthenon and the Temple of Poseidon at Cape Sunion. Props were ionic columns, a Greek island sunset backdrop and an impressive olive tree. The collection featured Vitruvian scrolls, the black and terracotta colour scheme of Athenian vases, pottery dresses, knee-high gladiator sandals with heels shaped like ionic columns, gold headbands and shimmering accessories. Yorwas Lanthimos' film The Killing of a Sacred Deer made it to the Cannes Film Festival's official selection. Starring Nicole Kidman and Colin Farrell, it's a psychological thriller in which a surgeon is forced to make an unthinkable sacrifice when the behaviour of a teenage boy he's taken under his wing turns sinister. I probably do have a little more hair than you do because I'm older than you. But soon you'll have more hair too. It's all down to hormones. Can you show me please? Can you take off your shirt and show me, please? Please.
Greek architects triumph again. A stunning home in the Peloponnese has won an International Architecture Award. It is the second year in a row that Athenian architectural firm Botiropoulos Plus Partners has picked up an Architizer A Plus Award held recently in New York. The awards celebrate the best in architectural innovation each year. Have you got a spare 29 million? Well, Kunupi Majestic is up for sale. The most expensive villa to ever hit the market in southern Greece. Occupying five acres on the Peloponnese Peninsula, it is part of the posh coastal stretch of Porto Heli, where neighbours like Sean Connery, Vladimir Putin and Dutch King Willem Alexander also have homes. Roll the dice and buy, sell and build in Santorini with Santopoli, the new board game with Santorini meets Monopoly. Created by young Greek couple Thomas Karakletsos and Dimitra Lola, it's available for purchase on www.santopoli.com. It has 22 title deed cards and handmade cave houses by a local artist. Kensho Boutique Hotel and Suites in Mykonos has been nominated in the 2017 Travel Awards for Greece's leading boutique hotel. Europe's leading new hotel and for a World Luxury Restaurant Award. Located in trendy Ornos Beach, it's nothing short of jaw-dropping. The hotel's starlit infinity pool is listed number 5 in the 112 most stunning swimming pools in the world according to Condé Nast Traveller. Bedia, thanks so much for joining us tonight. We are brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely. There's lots of ways to stay connected during the week. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and our website, medaki.tv. Have a great week, Bedia, and in the meantime, feel like you're from me, Anna Savo. Meraki TV is proudly brought to you by George Focus of Focus Beyond, education for investing wisely.